Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Stevie J from Glove Up or Shut Up at AngryMarks.com, also a member of the UFC.com rankings panel on behalf of the Wrestling Observer. And we've got a lot of ranking fights taking place tomorrow at UFC 159. But first, let's get through these weigh-in results, and you can see who made weight, who didn't, and who needed a towel to do so. We start off first with Steven Seiler versus Kurt Hullabaugh at featherweight. You will notice they are doing quarter and half pounds today in New Jersey. 145 even for Hullaba and 145 and a quarter for Seiler. James Head makes 170 and a quarter for his welterweight bout. Nick Catone comes in at 173. They don't even bother with a towel. He must have talked to Dana White ahead of time and accepted a deduction on his payout for the fight. Leonard Garcia and Cody McKenzie have no problem making weight. Both are 145 even for their featherweight bout on Facebook, which moves us to the prelim fights airing on FX. Both Brian Carraway and Johnny Bedford needed a towel for their bantamweight bout, and both made 136 with the towel. Sheila Gaff was 133, and Sarah McMahon was 134 for their women's bantamweight bout. Ovin St. Pru and Gian Viante both made 206 for their light heavyweight bout. Yancy Medeiros was 155 and a half. His opponent, Malablov, he got down to 156 after taking off some more clothes. We move to the pay-per-view portion now. Bam Bam Healy was 155 and a half, and Jim Miller, the crowd favorite at these weigh-ins, was 155 even. Vinny Magalesh was 205 and a half, and Phil Mr. Wonderful Davis was 205 even. Magalesh tried to start a little something as they posed, leaning in really close to Phil Davis, but Dana White got between them. Czech Congo was 237 for a heavyweight tilt, and Roy Big Country Nelson was 258. Rogan warned us ahead of time to strap on our seatbelts for this fight. 185 even for Alan the Talent Belcher, 186 for Michael the Count Bisping. Belcher got a little pushy during the post-fight stare down, and Dana White had to separate them before it got worse. John Jones versus Chael Sonnen, the American gangster as he likes to call himself. Both made 205 even, and afterwards Sonnen told everybody in attendance that someday they would tell their kids as kids as kids that Chael Sonnen was the real deal. Jones's remarks afterwards weren't nearly as long as Sonnen's. He just said he's simply here to be courageous and to fight, and that's about it. And that is it. That's your UFC 159 weigh-ins, courtesy of Stevie J at AngryMarks.com, from Glove Up or Shut Up, also at AngryMarks.com. Check us out every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central. And check out our UFC 159 preview with Paul Aceby, also available right here on YouTube.